Welcome to the Utah Department of Transportation's Asset Management website. This website provides information on various asset categories, including their conditions and management practices. This video will provide a brief overview of the content available, as well as how to access it. Information about specific asset categories is accessible by following the links across the top of the page. You can also access condition information about the different asset categories by following the appropriate links. Other information is available by following the links across the side of the home page. On a specific asset category page, you can read a brief summary of the asset type. Text that is underlined is usually a hyperlink to another page. These links direct you to other pertinent content, including reports, manuals, maps, and material on outside websites. The asset condition pages correspond for the most part with the asset category listed above them. As with the asset categories, each page contains information as well as links to other content. Clicking on a link to a report or other content will redirect you to another location where you can view that content. Some links will direct you to UPlan, UDOT's interactive mapping platform, where you can view the location of and find out more information about specific assets. Some of the UPlan maps available through the Asset Management website will direct you first to a page where you may read a description of the map and its contents. When redirected to a UPlan map or gallery, open the map by clicking the picture or by selecting Open Application or Open in Map Viewer. Notice that the layer list in Content is hierarchical and you may need to drill down and check multiple boxes in order to view the data you are interested in. The left-hand side of the Asset Management homepage includes links to other helpful content, including the UDOT data portal, data.udot.utah.gov, where you can download data sets in shapefile or KML format. There are also links to other UDOT applications across the top of the page. One of the tools available from the data portal is the Linear Bench tool, which is a straight line diagram allowing you to select assets you wish to view for a specific segment of road. This allows the user to view multiple assets that might exist in the same location in a format that is clearer than seeing them stacked on top of each other, as in a map. You can zoom in and out on the diagram, as well as click Features to get greater detail. Notice that you can view the location on the map on the side, which tracks the location at the same zoom level as the diagram. From the Asset Management homepage, you can also go directly to UPlan. At the UPlan homepage, you can browse featured maps and applications. Following the gallery link at the top, you can see all maps and applications available on UPlan. Or you can use the search functionality to look for specific content. One of the galleries available is the Asset Management Map Gallery. This is a set of maps that provide access to information about a variety of UDOT assets, including barrier, pavement striping, bike lanes, and others. To launch a map from a map gallery, click on the image. Depending on the map, you may need to zoom in before data will become visible. You can do this by using the mouse's scroll wheel or use the zoom in or zoom out buttons. One of the maps available is the pavement management map, which I will use to demonstrate the general functionality of maps in UPlan. If the functionality is enabled, you can change the base map. The legend shows the symbols associated with the different features that are visible in the map. You can also click on a feature to launch a pop-up of associated information, if it's enabled. If multiple features are close to where you clicked, you can cycle through their pop-ups using the arrow. If you want to find out more information about the map or its contents, you can read the summary in the About tab 
You can also follow the More Details link where you will find a longer description as well as contact information. Also, there may be other layers available in the map that are not active by default. You can view what layers are in the map by going to the Content tab. Checking the box makes the layer visible in the map. Clicking the name of the layer either expands the layer to show the symbols being used or expands to show the other layers grouped underneath it. Keep in mind that the layers are hierarchical and you may need to expand more than one level to get to the layer you want. Back at the Asset Management homepage, there is a link to the Photo Log Viewer, which provides access to high-resolution, street-level photography of UDOT roads. Here you can choose a location by route and milepost and examine photography of the roadway vicinity. The Traffic Statistics page allows you to look up traffic information collected by UDOT. You can access bulletins, reports, and maps providing AADT and ATR data. If you are unable to find the data that you are looking for, you may also submit a specific request. The UDOT Highway Referencing has valuable information on all state-owned routes and interchanges. Here you can access route locations, descriptions, interchange diagrams, reference reports, and maps. One of the interactive maps available is the Highway Reference Online, which has information about state-owned and federal aid routes in Utah. The map allows one to change base maps, select a particular route and zoom in on it, view a table of reference features for the selected route, and click reference features to find out more information. A variety of static maps are also available, including city and county maps, functional class maps, and traffic maps. Back at the Asset Management homepage, there are links to documents about the department's direction and to information about Asset Management's business and industry integration. You can access the project map as well, where you can view a map with information about UDOT projects. You can find information about the BNC Road Funds allocation. And links are provided to the organization chart and directory. Thank you for visiting our website. Your feedback about the site is very valuable to us, and we welcome any comments or suggestions you may have that will help us to improve the information and services we provide online.